What's going on guys? Mitch here. I've got a Wahoo Kicker V5. I uh, picked this guy up about a year ago and have put uh, right around 10,000 kilometers on the trainer and uh, on the stock 11 speed cassette that came with it and it's time to change this guy over to a 12 speed uh, to match the Athos. So I'm going to quickly walk you through on how to swap this guy from a Shimano Freehub body into the uh, SRAM XD. All right, so what's needed for this? Well, obviously I've got the this guy right here. So that is the Wahoo Kicker Freehub body uh, for the XD driver. It comes with uh, an additional nut, just if you damage your old one. Uh, wrench for the, your cassette tool, a chain whip, and a 17 mil uh, standard wrench or cone wrench to get off uh, the Freehub. So let's get started. So nothing too crazy using a standard chain whip and cassette tool, we are gonna get this guy pulled off. So once you crack that with your chain whip, you should be able to get this guy off. Pretty simple. So there we go, let's get this off. And because I'm whipped by my wife, we're gonna take all these little cassette parts and put it in a bucket so that I don't stain the counter. So guys, this is what uh, the Shimano Freehub body looks like on the kicker. Uh, just, just standard, so nothing too crazy. I didn't have any spacers on it to run it as a shorter seven, eight, nine speed kind of configuration. But uh, the main thing here is there's this little nut on the inside of the Freehub body. You have to loosen that guy off and that's what the 17 mil wrench is for. So first things first, we are going to undo that nut. As well, this is also a good time to kind of show a comparison of what the two different uh, bodies look like. So bottom is a Shimano, top is the XD. So a little bit conf different configuration. Perhaps you bought one with uh, uh, one of these guys already installed or are looking to put that on, but uh, that is what the two uh, kind of look like. Anyway, let's use that 17 mil wrench and get this guy off. Just like that. Uh, as well, so I have loosened this off now, as you can see. I have some, seen some stuff on Facebook where you get this rattle like this and people don't know how to fix it. Same thing would be just to tighten this guy up the other direction. So let's pull this guy off. And to me, remember how I said earlier it came with an extra one of these? Uh, we'll see which one I'd want to use, but I probably will go to the new one. It is a little bit, sh a little shorter. So there's probably a reason for that. <clears throat> so pull this guy off. Should just pop out like that. So once again, a quick comparison between the two. This is what they look like. Um, nothing too crazy. Obviously we've got a standard on the left and the uh, XD on the bottom, or on the right. And we can see the XD comes with a spacer for the cassette. We're not gonna require that for the uh, SRAM setup that I'm about to do, but uh, pretty simple. Just put some grease on it, put her back in. All right, so we got everything greased back up and we've got the XD body here, ready to rock and roll. So let's go ahead and put this guy in. and quiet. Obviously you can grease it or not. I prefer to have it greased lightly so that it's not too noisy. Then we are going to take the updated ring here and put that guy on as well. Just like that. Piece of cake. Tighten everything back down. Using that 17. That's good. Nice and quiet. And like I said, we do have that spacer ring here if you do need to use it for something, but uh, obviously we're solid. Got the new free hub body mounted and the nice thing about a SRAM cassette is there's no, uh, not a ton of pieces to it. So we're gonna go ahead now and get this guy mounted up. Uh, this is the SRAM rival cassette, nothing too crazy. As you can see, it's all pinned together and uh, not the highest end, which is why it's going on the trainer. But the main thing here is just to get it clocked correctly on XD, which uh, should be pretty simple. I will actually put a little bit of lube now that I'm looking at this on uh, the threads for the cassette. So let's make sure that's good. A little grease, not lube. Doesn't need much. Just so that it's easy to get on and off for next time. So let's get this guy mounted up. There we go. And Go ahead and get the threads now. Get it 
mount it up. Should be a lot easier than taking it off. You don't need a chain whip for this because of the weight of the unit itself is about 50 pounds and it's not going anywhere. Make sure there's no play in it and can spin freely uninterrupted. We are good to go. So there we go, we're all mounted up. It can spin freely, It uh, nothing's rubbing, it's nice and smooth, nice and quiet. So we're good to go and uh, get the Athos on the trainer. So there, that's how you do it. Go from 11 speed to 12 speed from a Shimano HD Freehub body to a SRAM XD Freehub body. So any questions, leave them below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And uh, we will talk soon. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Later.